Hi, my name is Nicole Moore and I am a Juki brand ambassador. Today I want to show you the Juki J350 QVP. Let's get started. Included with your machine are genuine Juki bobbins. These M style bobbins are produced to specifically fit your J350. We always recommend using genuine Juki bobbins from your local authorized Juki dealer. Having genuine bobbins ensures less issues with your tension and stitches and creates a smoother quilting experience. Before we wind the bobbin, we'll reference our manual, which gives us step-by-step -step instructions and illustrations. Place the bobbin on the bobbin winding shaft. Pass the thread through the hole on the back of the thread guide base. Then you'll bring the thread up and around the disc on the top of the base. Wind the thread on the bobbin clockwise by several turns, and I also like to hold the tail of the thread and wind a few times in the other direction. While still holding the tail, push the bobbin lever towards the bobbin and the thread is automatically wound. Upon completion of winding the bobbin, return the bobbin presser to its home position. Take off the bobbin and then trim the thread with the thread cutting knife, which is displayed in this illustration. Take a look at this illustration, which is also in your manual. It talks about how you can loosen the screw of the thread guide base to make adjustments if your bobbin is unevenly wound. Let's talk about the bobbin case, and you'll notice that your bobbin has a spring inside. It's also known as a bobbin tension spring or a bobbin anti-backlash spring, and this will help prevent bunching up or creating huge globs of thread clusters on the back of your fabric or quilt. Not all bobbin cases are created equal, but your Juki J350 bobbin case comes standard with this feature. Let's be intentional on how we load the bobbin into the bobbin case. If you're holding the bobbin towards you, make sure the tail of the thread is coming down on the right hand side and running clockwise. Hold the bobbin case so that the opening of the bobbin case is at the bottom. Snap the bobbin into the case and bring the thread counterclockwise until you reach the slit in the case. Pass the thread through the slit and under the thread tension spring and pull the thread a couple of inches. The bobbin should run clockwise. You can adjust the tension with this tiny screw on the bobbin case. Pull the thread out a couple of inches and the bobbin should run clockwise. I hope you found this video helpful for your quilting journey. If you'd like to learn more about this machine, head over to jukiquilting.com and locate your nearest dealer.